Hello Kellys, it's Mary. This video is going to be how I get these juicy, beautiful two-strand twists. Um, so this is going to be a tutorial on how I two-strand twist my hair, but what I will be including in this tutorial is a way to twist your hair which is easier for those who are right-handed, but also how to twist your hair if you are left-handed. Um, I believe that this method might be a lot easier for you. So if you'd like to see how I do both methods, then stay tuned. So the first thing that you're going to need if you want to have really juicy looking twists is really well moisturized hair. So in this video, I have just finished deep conditioning my hair and my hair is about to be finger detangled and also detangled with a comb. So you want to make sure that your hair is really nicely moisturized. If you are starting off on dry hair, then you want a really nice moisturizer. And then what you want to do is make sure that your hair is thoroughly detangled so that it will just make your twist come out looking really, really nice. And you can click the card that appears on the top right of the screen now if you'd like to see how I detangle my hair in a lot of detail. So I'm starting off with an example of how not to two strand twist. So you can see that I'm not holding my hair at the root, I'm holding it further down, um, sort of in the middle of my hair shaft. And I am changing the hair from hand to hand, but I'm not really getting a really good grip on the hair. And so the result is just a twist that's, I mean, it's there, but it's not very tight and it just doesn't have a good effect. So now this is my method for actually producing a really, really nice looking two strand twist. So you want to divide your hair uh, nicely in the middle. You want an even amount of hair in both hands as much as possible. And then what you want to do is actually hold your hair more towards the root of your hair than towards the ends. And you want to have a really nice grip on both strands of hair. So the hand that I'm actually shaking on the screen right now, that's my right hand, it's my stronger hand. This is the hand that's gonna be doing most of the work. So the job of this hand is basically to grab hair that's being passed over. So if you look carefully, I am holding the hair that's in place with my index finger and thumb, and then my second, third, and fourth finger are the ones that are gripping the hair that's being passed over. So let's see if I can explain that again. So hair is being passed over now. You can see second, third and fourth fingers are gripping. So all that's being done here is a simple exchange. So the hair is being passed from hand to hand each time. And as it's being passed over, it's being gripped by the right hand. Now the gripping motion in the right hand is actually very important because that's what helps to keep your twist uh, tight and for it to really give um, a good amount of tension to your twist. So for this clip I'm just showing you the same motion all over again just so you, you'll be able to get it again. So the hair is being passed from my left hand to my right hand. And what I'm doing is I'm using my second, third and fourth fingers just to grip the hair as it's being passed over. So it's always the piece of hair that's on top that's being gripped by my second, third and fourth fingers. And all my index fingers are doing is just holding the hair each time. So as with anything that's hair related or in life, if you practice it more and more, you will get better and better at it. And um, I do hope that the explanation as well as the visual has given you in detail um, what I do. This is just my method that I taught myself since I was about 14. Um, so I'm hoping that it works for you too. So you can see in these clips, that I've um, they are slightly sped up. Um, just because I just wanted you to have an impression of how it looks when the motion goes a bit faster. Um, but when I actually do it on my hair, um, without filming it, it actually goes faster than this because I'm so used to the motion of my hands. So you can see, for example, in this clip that, yeah, my hands are going a lot more quickly. Um, and yeah, you can actually twist your hair quite quickly if you practice enough. 
for me it works a lot uh, more quickly and easier than actually putting uh, plaits or braids in my hair definitely Now for this clip, I wanted you to see what happens if I feel like my hair's getting slightly knotted or tangled in the middle. I just stop and just comb through each section of hair, um, but I make sure that I hold them tightly and then once the tangles are gone, then I simply carry on. And these are the results. Now, for twisting the opposite way, you're basically going to do exactly the same thing, but your hands will be reversed. So for me, this is the more unnatural way of twisting, but I can recognize that for someone who's left-handed, this may be a lot easier to do than the first method. So in this example, the left hand is the hand that's doing most of the work the second third and fourth fingers on the left hands are the ones that's grabbing the hair that is being passed over on top and all the right hand is doing is just passing the hair over so the right hand has an easy time because all it needs to do is just pass hair over into the other hand the left hand is the one that's actually doing the gripping so as you can see grip and pass grip and pass, grip and pass. Now, as I'm getting towards the end, you can see obviously there's less hair, so it's not easy for me to use all three of my fingers to grip, so I'm just gripping with my second finger. But the principle is exactly the same. And then when I get to the very end, I just do a little coil with my finger just to finish off the twist, and it's done. So I've inserted this clip just to show my lovely left-handed curlies if they would like to see the whole process all over again. So again, the left hand has the job of gripping and all the right hand does is just pass the hair towards the back and on top. So curlies, this is the end of the tutorial and I just wanted to show you the results. So the results are very juicy looking, very healthy and shiny looking twists and they hold really well and they're twisted all the way to the end so um, it just creates more of a uniform look. If you wanted an even more uniform look then you could really part the hair a lot more evenly but for this example I didn't do so but you can do so if you wish. You may have noticed that my hair is actually a darker colour than it was before and that's because I did dye it and I will be bringing you a hair dyeing tutorial very very soon. So be sure to hit the like button below if you'd like to see that and also if you have not subscribed to my channel then you can click the little circle on the screen with my face on it. Um, you can also click the link to check out one of my other videos that you may enjoy. Until the next time, I will see you soon in another tutorial. Take care.